Per peeps, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. Hey, we thought we would go live here for many reasons, actually. Number one, we got our live back. We lost it and got it back within about three hours because the community out there is awesome. You guys came to our rescue and you kept us going. Pusha Studios, Polynesian Vlogger, Game Legend, everybody come to our rescue and got us back up. That is completely awesome. So, uh, H. Castro, hey, how are you doing? Thanks for drop, dropping in here. Railroad Preserve 2000, all right, hey. So we thought we would come on live and share a couple things with you guys that what we got going on in our lives here a little bit because this is my last week of vacation. I go back to work. Kay Johnson, hey, glad you made it. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to introduce all you guys to Harvey. Okay, Harvey is actually short for, where you at? RRV. So there he is. This is our RV that we got here. This is one of the projects that we're working on. We got him last uh, <laughs> season. I'm going to flip this around so you guys can see him better. Maybe. There we go. So, yep, that is Harvey. RRV. This is a Class A motor coach. Out of body. Hello, hello, hello. So, we're just uh, doing a live stream here, thanking everybody for getting us back on live. Kind of show you guys what we got going on here. He's a little dirty right now. We haven't got to that point. We've been doing some things like replacing this hardware and painted that thing up there, the entry thing, and I'll go back up front here. Painted the uh, windshield wipers because I can't find them anywhere on the internet and just kind of spruce them up a little bit here. We wanted to get to taking off all the graphics and redoing the graphics on them, but haven't got to that point yet. But, it was nice to get them here in the driveway. We're going to take you guys inside and show you around a little bit. You think outside looks cool? Wait till you see inside here. So here's the inside. So we did a, like we replaced that blind right there. Just little things. We had to fix this little uh, thing there to hold up the cabinet. One of the projects we want to do is we'll swap out that TV, put in a flat screen. A little messy in here because we're still, still kind of working on things. Uh, Marianne got all the cabinets and everything cleaned out, sanitized. Um, we got to finish working on the bedroom back there. We're going to get some new bed clothes and we got to do the floor, but... We're hoping to take this thing out and we wanted to introduce you guys so when you see us kind of go live look at this though i don't get this look at this tiny little tv see that i couldn't see that if i put my nose in front of it but hey it is what it is even got a full size little restroom right here and i could fit in that shower which is kind of cool but uh if we get to uh, take this out, which we're planning on, we are going to be going live from here. And I knew that that mirror might be an issue. So let's kind of oh, tilt that, that down. Nice. <laughs> Can you open that window right there? It does get quite warm in here. So let me open these windows up. We could turn on the air conditioner, but I'd have to run the generator to do that. Well, hello, HSFL Paranormal. Nice to see you. Dila's guppies. <laughs> Dila says you have a nice shower in there, dear. Yeah, and the nice thing is, is I get fit Mary in Mary Ellen Clark's here. Paul Walker. Oh, you put this stuff over here. I did. Budget Outdoors is here. Eagle Viki. Nice to see everybody. So yeah, we wanted to come on live 
normal we don't on Mondays. Um, but hey, you guys come to our rescue and we got our live back, so I thought we'd come on live and, you know, say, hey, well, are there spirits here? That's a good question. Question, are there spirits? Yeah, as soon as I said dogs. that, it glitched <laughs> and we had to come back in. We're a little crooked on there, but. You'll figure it out. That's okay. Before we go for a real tour. So, uh. Yeah, we, we bought this the end of last season, and um, the idea was to take this out to go to uh, haunted locations, mm -hmm. and it uh, needs a little bit of work, a little bit of love. Um, so far, as much miles as we put on it, which wasn't very many, probably about 40, if that, um, seems to be running pretty good. Our plans are actually to take this in September out to Hillview Manor, and... Uh, since we're probably going to spend the night out there, we could just go out in the parking lot and crash out. I wanted to rename this Spirit Chaser, but that kind of got vetoed. I don't know. I'm still working on that. But uh, another thing that we wanted to do, for those of you who are not into paranormal, our last couple videos that we posted, we were talking about different pieces of equipment that we were getting responses on. So, and then we got to thinking, hey... We never explained to them what those devices are and how they work. So we thought maybe we'll come out and Harvey here, go live. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, <laughs> now, it's, now it's it. Got Boris there. Um, that's okay, HS, that's all <clears throat> paranormal. That's okay. Says I can't use the audio. Uh, so <laughs> there it work. we thought we would come out here and explain some of the equipment in the investigation video so you kind of guys knew what we were talking about. Um, if you're not into the paranormal and that kind of thing, how it works, you know, that kind of stuff. So we don't do this in our house. That's why you've never seen it in our videos. And when we do the live stream inside, because we don't turn our equipment on inside, we don't believe in doing it. Well, we don't want to do that. We don't want to bring anything in that blessed area. And I don't want to be bothered with spirits in the house, but out here in Harvey game on, I don't care. Right. Do you? You want to get woken up in the middle of the night going, <laughs> so what, right? Part of the adventure. So we brought our devices out here and it's starting to get a little warm already. But we do have the windows open. Um, so in our uh, video, they were for the first paranormal event. Okay. Uh, I can't see the chat, so you're That's all right, there. I'll do it. So the, in our investigation video that we put out, um, one thing that we were talking about was a K2 meter. And this is a K2 meter right here. Okay. As you can see, it's picking up nothing. But I bet if I got close to the phone, see that little bleep, bleep, bleep? All right. What that's doing is picking up the live stream it's picking up the you guys it's picking up you guys it's picking up the electromagnetic field that is coming off the cell phone zero foxes See that? given is having some paranormal activity happening to them and strange things so you might want to check out a k2 just yeah. to check out some electrical things at your house too so electromagnetic field see if there's anything that seems to be a little too too ungrounded yeah, the, the electromagnetic field or electromagnetic field, uh, the theory behind that is, is when spirits try to manifest, they're going to put off uh, electromagnetic field because of that change in energy. I'm covering up my face. You are. It's cute. The change in energy. <laughs> okay. Um, everything in the world's made up of EMF, even our bodies, but we don't put off enough to set off the alarm. However, your cell phone will. Okay. The cell phone going crazy, then I go back here and it isn't. So if you watched our investigation video, you saw that we were going up and down that uh, stone wall, and this thing was going crazy. So it wasn't that light. I mean, look how close I have to get. Right there, it's on one, but I have to get really up on that phone to set that off. So it is kind of sensitive. Unbelievable. <laughs> 
the app just crashed again. But we use these a lot in our investigation. We have about, what, six or seven of them? At least, yeah. yeah. So sometimes we'll set these around, especially in a building that doesn't have electricity. Mm -hmm. And if we see these things go off, it could be something going on. Yeah. So that's uh, EMF. That's a K2 meter. So in an investigation, we kept saying the K2 meter is going nuts. The K2 meter is going nuts. That's what that means. Um, the EMF field was going off, and that was blowing us away. So, so there's a couple things that came up. If we're going to do an, a live night investigation. We did that a couple weeks ago uh, in Gisberg. So mm -hmm. if you want to check that stream out, you can do that. Um, we don't have one planned right away. Uh, some of the places, it depends on whether we can get cell service. Yeah. Um, our next planned schedule investigation, unless something pops up between now and then, is in September at Hillview Manor. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you never know. We might be doing something between now and then. But that one is actually uh, scheduled. So, uh, yeah, the last one was the one in Gettysburg. Yeah. And thank you, Angela, for showing up today and also for helping out when we had some issues as well. And uh, yeah, thank you to yes. everybody in the community for coming to our rescue yes. because it would have been 90 days yeah. uh, before we said she's at work. So she was just stopping by to say hi. Um, also, uh, they had a question about the Xbox Connect. They just said that they've heard that that can find things as well. We've never actually used one of those. We do have a friend who has recently started using that, mm -hmm. um, but we've never actually done it ourselves. I don't play video games. He's played some. So he had some Xbox type things in the past, but I I, had a you PS2, never had but a I connect. Didn't have the connect. Um, that's something that we looked into. It's just one of those projects I never got done. The Xbox can connect. Uh, it's not like that movie Paranormal Activity where they have it in there, but it's pretty close to that where it would actually pick up and see figures that are moving and that kind of stuff, which was very cool. Uh, we do have a thermal adapter for another cell phone that we can actually record thermal, uh, which we did there in, in Gettysburg. I haven't put that stuff out yet because um, we were just basically picking up the heat off the monuments um, but the Xbox Connect will actually it kind of works on that same type of principle with thermal where it'll pick up a, either a cold signature or a heat signature and it'll outline a figure pretty cool technology we don't have one um, it's just more tech stuff that we would have to carry but we do know uh some investigators that do have them mm -hmm. so yeah so hsfl uh paranormal says that they are out in california whereabouts in california are you guys at we're headed there in november yeah november we're, we're going, going to, to san, san diego. diego and irish whiskey's here hello 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 and uh just out and about came by as well they are here yeah we didn't schedule this we just yeah. thought we'd pop on live because we have the privilege to do so because we can do it because again. we can uh you know big thanks out to pusha studios and everybody in the community yeah. gator the legend the polynesia vlogger ath trout everybody, everybody you know i, I can't remember everybody's and... name but sent tweets and got you us guys are all on. amazing most of you guys were on our live stream you know we weren't spamming and that's what we got flagged for was spamming and sending people outside of youtube i don't get it i don't know i don't know hopefully this one doesn't get flagged because we're not mo we're not monetized yet we're not partner verified so uh you know if it happens it could just shut us down for 90 days and you know that's that's a shame but Hey, we could still post videos. It's just fun coming on live because I'm we get to, we say get to talk hi to with you guys. you guys. I guess if it really a push come the shove, um, we could probably HS. He said he tweeted yeah. out to get our, our channel back. Um, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. But if push comes to shove and they took it away from us, we probably think of something else. You know, maybe Twitch or something like that to go to, so we could at least keep in touch yes, with you yeah. guys. Uh, it was a sad thing that happened, and, and it's like that whole like from geez from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then Pusha lost Thursday, and it's like, wow, it's 
it's just like a big emotional roller coaster. Yes, but was, they're back too. They're back. Yes. By the way, Pooja Studios is back. on tonight at seven o'clock. You guys want to hop on there and grow your channel? Highly recommend it. Yeah, highly they're, recommend. They're it. awesome people, and I'm so glad that they're back. It was very sad that that happened the second time, especially after how hard they worked to help us to get back on just the day before. Yeah. They, they went on live, and the whole thing was just to get us back on live. And that was... Yeah, it, oh. was, it was great. I, I, was, Sunday, I felt sad Saturday for them Saturday. because they Saturday. literally took their entire live stream and basically dedicated it to yeah, getting us I, back I'm gonna on. I'm going to be in the chat room but, tonight, um, and, and I don't want them to do a shout-out at us because they did a yeah, whole live stream yeah. for us. We'll be there to watch we'll you guys. We'll be there to support you guys and, and check out your guys' channels. and Yeah. Yeah. That was that was crazy. So, anyways, we talked about the K2 meter. You guys got that. that that'll kind of tell you what a K2 meter. The next thing we talked about what we had in our investigation was the obelisk. And I don't know. You said this. I did you change about yeah, it? I did. Okay. So the obelisk basically works on the same principle as EMF. Okay, the K2, but basically it's not powder memory. So when you turn it on, it automatically yeah, gives you two words to calibrate. But this kind of works on the same principle. EMF can, um, there's a dictionary inside here, and they can use that to communicate. Now, in most cases on an ovulus, when you're walking around and doing something, it's just weird words like memory, powder, you know, just stuff out of blue, you know, green. It's just, re you know, really strange words. But when you're conducting a session and the words go off in conjunction with your questioning, that becomes interesting. So, like, for example, we had a live stream out there that uh, we were driving a battlefield of Gettysburg and we got help Southern Coffin or something like that. Lend Southern Lend Coffin. Lend Southern Coffin. Like, real quick. Which makes sense because... Right when we were on Confederate Avenue. Yeah, the Confederates weren't buried anywhere and they had to come up and, and get their their body so really cool. that related to that conversation or that that, that area. questioning that area and that that lends a little bit merit to the obelisk we use the obelisk a lot in cemeteries too because it doesn't make much noise it just mm -hmm. talks something out it just says if it decides yeah if it, it decides to say something then it'll say something so yeah that's kind of cool so we got that and then the one that marianne hated but now she's starting to love I still don't like the sound of it, but I did like the responses, did like the responses that we were able to catch. We have to, this is the first time we've gone live in Harvey here, so we're going to have to figure something out because I normally have to put my legs here, and that will make it go. So we'll have to figure out a way to <laughs> mount this camera. Oh, we got that thing. I wonder if we could clamp it you off of that can. or something. Yep, you yeah, probably we could can. figure that out. Or you could sit it on the chair across from you and then yeah. be on the table is there any other paranormal peeps in california you mean oh, in the yeah. live right now or just in general check out michael scott he's in california yeah he's out there there's a lot of paranormal people out in california mm -hmm. uh, hello host and everyone hello joy seward malaya, malaya nation adventures joy seward all right great stuff guys yeah. Out of bodies, bad. They're they're kind of at work. Oh, I they're think talking to each other. Is that what's going on? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, they just said hi, Malaya. But yeah, they, I think they're at work. They were uh, listening, but without heads. <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> they're not, they're not supposed to be watching us. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's okay. All right. So the next thing that we had during the investigation, we call it the spirit box or the SP7. We also have an SP11 which mm -hmm. runs off the same principle but it's dual channels if you go to paranormal channels you'll see this used a lot and basically what it is it's a modified radio you can do am fm you could sweep through the channels either forward or backwards so if you hear a phrase or a word or something that pops out over like a series of words that's scanning radio stations so fast basically what the spirits can do is use the white noise on here to communicate. And yes, this is the the home on wheels. If we yeah, get it this finished, is, <laughs> this is the tenement on wheels. I ordered my uh, cousin Eddie uh, 
a robe. It hasn't came yet. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you, you got a cousin Eddie, like, blow up doll or something to put in the no. seat. <laughs> yeah, we got, this is the first time we had, uh, had the chance to actually get it to the house. Because uh, driving through the city is kind of fun with this thing. This thing is huge. It is huge. It takes a little bit of skill and practice to drive this thing. So we got it to the house, and uh, we have another video. Maybe we might be coming out showing another project we're working on on our property, where eventually this is going to be its home over there, our private campgrounds over there. That we're that's what we were doing yesterday, hacking up trees and stuff like that, because we got a call out to a guy to bring in a driveway, and we had to get uh, we had some selective harvesting done, so we got to get the treetops cut up and chipped up and get ready for that driveway so that this can go over there and trying to get all this done before I go back to work. But I want to go camping. I want to go camping. Somebody's not really into going to camping, but we may do that too. We may take him somewhere and close to work and uh, spend some time out in the campground. So when we go live, we'll, we wanted to, so you guys know where we're coming live from. Which, by the way, we're going to have to figure out something to cover that mirror because they're seeing... They're <coughs> seeing that they're seeing us twice. In the mirror. <laughs> but uh, we'll get something to put over the mirror. There. Yeah, I'll, I'll make something. But we wanted to pop on live. Thank, you know, three things in this video. Number one... Uh, See you later, nice DR Outdoors. Later. All right. We wanted to pop on and say, you know, thank number you one, you. thank you to all of you guys that came to our support and got us back on live. That's awesome. So there's four bullets in this one. Okay. Oh, so you yeah, forgot. Yeah, four bullet points. <laughs> yeah. Number one, thank you. Thank you. We can't thank you enough. Yeah. It's just, it's great. It's awesome to know that great people can come together and help out others. That's a great thing. Number two, we wanted to introduce you to Harvey since he is sitting here in the driveway and kind of show you what we got going on. So if we're a little lax and putting some videos out, we're uh, working on this kind of stuff here. Haven't had time to be in there editing, but uh, yeah. Um, all right, DR Outdoors. Okay. Did we already say goodbye? Yes, we did. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, <laughs> So, number three, we wanted to explain the equipment for those of you who aren't into paranormal investigations. That's why we were going over, because we kept saying in that video, oh, we're getting something on the spirit box, we're getting something on the obelisk, we're getting something on the K2. So now, hopefully, you guys kind of know what that means. Uh, we did have videos before that we posted, or we created, we, we never created, posted. We never posted them. Um, explaining them in detail, but uh, those were sitting in reserve and they never got posted out there and they were in the, not, old, studio the old studio. And... So, yeah. Uh, we plan on doing some investigations and stuff in Harvey once we get it off the property and get it over in our woods to see if we can actually bring something into the into the question. <clears throat> Marianne's rolling her eyes. I... She said, don't turn the equipment on in the house. I've been following along. I don't do that. I don't investigate in the house. Uh, and then the first fourth point tonight, 7 p.m., Pusha Studios. Make sure you guys yes. go over, check them out. It's a great opportunity for you guys. And to we get, get to see your them, too. Thing. So we have ATGH Travels in here. I know you guys are part of Pusha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have uh, PSPR Paranormal. DR Outdoor, Out of Body. Uh, yeah, so you guys, there. what do you, you guys have been on there. Do you recommend it? I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. Make sure you hit them up tonight and try to get your channel shout out and good times. Yeah. Yeah, so there was a couple questions here or somebody came in later. They asked why we were taken down. <clears throat> well, here's what happened. On our live stream on Saturday, somebody went in and flagged it as being spam. spam. That we were spamming. We were sending people outside of the live stream. Now, the only thing I could think of that I did was I put links to our Discord server. And I put links out there to help out another Parapy member to help out a family that was stranded. I was putting links to their uh, PayPal and things to go help them out. 
So somebody came along, some somebody, didn't like what we were doing, I guess, and flagged it and said it was misleading and inappropriate content. spam content. It was misleading. We were playing 50s horror movie Pictionary. Pictionary. That's what was in the title. So we went on to another live stream. I think it was Yankee's live stream. I saw he was on live. I popped on there and I was listening and said hi to everybody and did everything. And as soon as I, I went off, I, w I went back to our channel to see if ours was done processing. Because once that's done, I go in and I uh, go and fix the closed captions on it. And as soon as I did that, it popped up with the red community strike. And I thought, that's it. We're done. Because what am I going to do? We're not monetized yet. We don't have the YouTube support. So I took a screenshot of it. And when you, you can actually go and appeal it, you send in a form to appeal that community strike. And it's like one line. I, it looks like a, a subject line, it but it's 500 characters. That's all you get. So I put in there, I'm like, we follow these guys, something like we follow the guidelines. If you look at our descriptions when we give stuff away on Saturday, there's like a 3,000 character thing for the giveaway rules. I mean, we don't use copyright. We know I, that's part of my job at work is the copyright law. So I, I know, I understand it. So it wasn't copyright. Um, the only thing is, is when I posted those links, I posted them under the channel name. And didn't let a moderator post those links. So a little tip, okay? And it could have been construed as sending people outside of YouTube. The AI picked it up and, and said, okay, yeah, you, you broke the community guidelines. Now here's the thing too. We're 250 hours away of becoming partner verified. We got over 1,200 subs. We have all the hours. And we're really close. So our channel is being audited pretty heavy because we're getting close to getting monetized and partner verified. So when somebody triggered that, immediately the AI said, oh, yeah, you did that. Yeah, we agree. Okay. Well, I went in and I apologized because I wasn't thinking. It was just, you know, if you guys do live streams, you know there's a lot going on, you know, watching chat and all that stuff like that, where I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have posted those links under the channel name. Should have just let a moderator do that. And, um, you know, I apologize. I'm like, I'm sorry. We were just help, trying to help out a stranded family is all we were doing. So I sent that screenshot over to uh, Pusha Studios via Twitter. And I said, oh, they got us. We got nailed. We're done. Um, probably won't be able to go live for 90 days. Which I don't know how we would get the watch hours because... You guys in here now is helping up with the watch time, but normally our live streams are like an hour, a couple hours, whatever. This one's not going in an hour, yeah. but um, you know that helps with the watch time because you get more watch time on live streams than you do on uploaded videos. It's just the way it works. And uh, you know, I go back to work Monday, so being able to go on live streams we said we're going to do it every saturday regardless because we don't work on saturdays we'll figure it out but uh with the gettysburg live streams and pop it on with the stuff we were getting close so they respond they meaning pusha studios uh come back and said andrew's going live here in a couple minutes come and hop on so we did we went and hopped over and they were live for oh man how long was it, it two was, three hours yeah just stating our case and rallying the community and all you guys that hopped in and tweeting out and Gator to Legend and everybody was tweeting and coming to our thing. Especially Polynesian the ones, vloggers little videos oh, were so the ones that Polynesian <laughs> Vlogger put out. I mean, we're like tears because it's like, it's never going to happen or it's going to take another six months. You know, it's like, hey, okay, what's life? But, you know, it was just sad because we can't do this with you guys. And, uh, you know, but then then we see Polynesia Vlogger come on with, as that alien. I'm going to eat your brains. You know, <laughs> so you're laughing and crying at the same time. And watching what Pooja Studios was doing, rallying us. And, and, and it was just, wow. You know, it, yeah. it was crazy. And then 
And then within two and a half hours of us sending in the appeal and everybody jumping in, we got an email back saying, yes, we reviewed it. It was a mistake. You're back online. So we were back up Friday night, right? No, Saturday Saturday night. night. Like it was like really late. It might yeah, have been. Yeah, it was late Saturday. We were gonna like pop 30, on and thank 11, everybody, 30, and then like yesterday we were working on this stuff in the property, and you know, so this is the first time. Trees we got, yesterday. I was being. I was helping move some wood. Lumberjack and kind of overdid it a little bit, but yeah. So, but that's and, what happened. Yeah, that's what happened to us, and then we were. It could so happen excited. to anybody. It can happen to any to of you. Back. So. Get part of a be a part of a great community that can come and rally your support. Yeah, highly recommend it. Yeah. So, so we got a couple other people that kind of came on and said hi to us. Uh, I think Crip Six might have been here. Apologetic, unapologetically, games came. They're all happy that we are back. So thank you again for for supporting us. Yeah. It, it again. You know, it wasn't us. It was you guys. The only thing we did was appeal it and pray. <laughs> basically I mean, it was you guys coming to our support and sending a tweet to uh, team YouTube and things like that so yeah we're glad we're back on to Crip6 I mean but it could happen I mean it could really happen if it does happen to you which I hate to say this but it it probably will at some point if it does happen reach out to the community reach out to us you guys are part of our community Follow us on, you know, social media or Discord. I'm not posting the links right now, number one, because I'm on the phone. But number two, I wouldn't do that anymore from our uh, name. But uh, the links are in our descriptions and things like that. Be a part of the community. And if it happens to you, reach out and say, hey, I need help. I need help. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're not monetized. But a goal for any of us is to hit that 1,000 subscribers and the fourth the 4,000 hours that's the hard part is yeah. getting that we're at 3,000 we need 250 hours to hit the 4,000 hours and we've been doing this since late November 250 some videos out there and it takes some time and it takes some dedication dedication <laughs> and it takes going out and being a part of a great community and creating your own community and things like that so yeah I'm over 1k but need the hours yeah, yeah. And I think that happens, that's happened to a lot of people. Everybody was able to get the thousand subscribers, you know, they're, they're more apt to be able to do that than the hours. Yes. Well, I'm going to give you another example too. Before the, what's Andrew called the Armageddon, you yeah. know, where they changed it to a thousand subs, 4,000 hours. It used to be 10,000 views. We started working the channel. Well, actually, way back when, it, I think it was 100 subscribers and you become mm -hmm. monetized way back in 2010. Then they said it was 10,000 views. So we hit 10,000 views the end of December. We're almost to 40,000 views right now. But a view is only at least 30 seconds. It doesn't necessarily mean that somebody watches your whole video. Views are easy to get. Um, so... 4,000 hours is actually 22 or 20,000 minutes a month or 666 minutes a day of watch time. So that's what you want to shoot for because not only do you want to hit that, you need to maintain that within a 12 month period. A 12 month period. So that's where the subs come in and building the community so that when you do put out your videos you have people who watch them and then you got to be great content and keep people on and keep people watching and, and things like that so yeah it, it kind of makes sense but i think those goals are really lofty goals but mm -hmm. it is what it is yeah and then the the part that really gets me is you can't get support from youtube until your partner verify that's the hard part you know, because like what would happen with us, I think uh, Cassandra even started a, uh, a, a, a chat thing in, fo in the forums of YouTube because there were some people saying they don't have Twitter. And she said, well, just go over here and leave a comment. And the first comment that came up for us was, 
too bad they're going to have to serve their 90 days. But the thing is, is we really didn't do anything wrong. I guess we did by putting links outside of YouTube. That is against the guidelines, you know, because you're driving people outside of YouTube. But I was just sharing the links to go help out a fellow YouTuber that, that was stranded and needed help. So it wasn't really, I, I don't know. And the way I think that it, it's listed, too, I, now is I know like not to do it. links outside of YouTube to so, other social media sources. Right. Um, I don't know. Did that change? Unapologetically says that they think that they saw that it doesn't have to be maintained after that. I thought it still did. What, the 4,000 hours? Yeah. 4,000 hours within the last uh, 12 months. Yeah. So, yes, it has to be maintained. If you don't maintain that 4,000 hours, they'll take the monetization away from you until you get it back. So, yeah, you do have to maintain it. Unless something's changed within the last month, two, three weeks. I haven't, yeah. I haven't followed up on it. But did something change on that? Right, as long as you keep your channel active. No, because, well, there was a lot of people who were monetized when they came out with... Well, see, that's what I started saying. Back in late December, when we hit the 10,000, we went into review. We were in the review process because we were going to become monetized. And that's when they changed it, right while we were in the review. And they come back and said, no, new rules now. We're changing the game. I know you hit this point, but... Now here's another goal to hit, and I'm like, uh, oh well, whatever. And we're not, we don't want to, we don't care about the money part of it. That's not the point. We want to be able to have the support from YouTube, which would be awesome, and we want to be able to put links. Well, now I'm kind of concerned. Now I'll put the links back to. Well, I guess you can put links to your own verified web page. That's okay. I did read that part. Because that's what I want, is when we do the location videos, and I say, this is Panic D number, blah, 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 blah. I could put a card, and it'll open up the page on Panic D, so you could see all the stuff that we're talking about. That's why I wanted to get monetized, not the money part of it. But, yeah. Getting warm in here. Can't turn the air conditioner on. You're not saying anything. Why aren't you talking? Did they? Did we lose everybody? Did we lose all of our no watchers? No, there's people there. I just uh, I'm not I'm not I'm what? not the big YouTube junkie. No, you're not. I will come on and and be part of the channel, and I'll go out and watch some of your videos and things like that. You know, different channels, and but I'm not I'm not somebody who like looks into all the rules and and you know follows everything so. sorry guys just trying to straighten that out up a little bit that was kind of driving me buggy i just kind of come and chill with you guys <laughs> timber hill hello 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 chef disaster plates hello wow a lot of new guys hey a lot of new channels in here when yeah. this is done please leave a comment down in the comment section so we could go back and check out your channels too because uh this is awesome Timber Hill Redbone. That's we a new are one. Good. Hey, we're doing good. Hope you're having a great day. Mm -hmm. We are. A little sore today. <laughs> Hit the Advil bottle a couple times. Got a couple new bruises. Slept in. That... Oh, yeah, there you can see it. Yeah, yeah Marianne looks bruises. like she's been. <laughs> but a uh, little beat up. But yeah, you, everyone who's uh, new to here, please leave a comment down in the comment section so we could go back and check you guys out that's really the only way now francis spirits and kittens i didn't talk to you about her i know her You're she's going actually to an abandoned cemetery yeah she's she's the one that uh has that abandoned the abandoned cemetery oh mary ann's gonna love this one i love cemetery because i didn't explain this to her i was on your guys live stream she was already asleep okay this abandoned cemetery she lives down in florida around tampa bay area okay okay mm -hmm. The town that she lives in is the town where Carnival and Sideshow P 
people would go and winter for the winter. Okay. So there's a abandoned cemetery that's next to her. And uh, I looked Hunting it up dogs. and find a grave. And mm -hmm. there's some sideshow people that's buried in, in that cemetery. Okay. So she's going to go and do an investigation from there. How cool is that? That's, very that's cool. pretty cool. That's very cool. Some point we're going to come down and collab with you. We're going to come down because we will go to that cemetery. Yeah, I love cemeteries. So. I try to go to cemeteries everywhere I go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, Timber it has hunting dogs. Ooh, Their channel's about hunting, hunting dogs. dogs. Yes. Please leave us a comment down below in the comments once this is done. If you can't do it right now after it's done processing, you might be able to do it now. I don't know. Scroll down. Leave us a comment. Just say, hey, cool stuff. Then, <laughs> you know, don't put the words, please sub me. Please do this. Please, no. Just say, hey. Yeah, I like the older graves like too, Irish whiskey. I love going to see what they put on. Show the your love for travel and... boars. Say, I really like travel boars. And then we'll go and check out your channel. <clears throat> he might even say hi. <laughs> so Irish uh, whiskey says he likes uh, uh, older grave sites. We do as well. And we kind of really get into oh, some really in-depth historical research when it comes to grave sites. Like, uh, we found the uh, town grave site at Harper's Ferry. There was a lot of people that was bo uh, buried in there, and we went and spent some time out in the graveyard. It was hot. Oh, man, it's always hot when we go to these places, but it's on top of the hill. It's really hot. And the Evergreen Cemetery in Gettysburg, I mean, mm -hmm. that place is just packed full of history and all the people about the town in Gettysburg. There's been a few other places. We always look for the town yeah. cemeteries. Yeah. Was it in Fredericksburg when oh, we went? Oh, yeah. That was really Fredericksburg. Cool. If you guys have ever, never been to Fredericksburg, I don't know if anybody in here is from Fredericksburg. When was that? Was That our, that was, that our, was honeymoon. our honeymoon. So this was yeah. before we were into the paranormal. Okay? Get this story. We've never told this before. Nope. So this is, this this is, is an exclusive right here on this live stream. That's right. So when we left here, our first stop for the night was Fredericksburg, Virginia. And we got out and we walked around and we did some stuff, took pictures. And that's where George Washington is from, is Fredericksburg, actually. There was a big battle in Fredericksburg and all that stuff. So we went to the uh, park and the cemeteries up on the hill, a national cemetery that's there. And um, where uh, George Washington chopped down a cherry tree. Fredericksburg. His mother's house was there and, and all that area and everything like that. So when we were getting ready to leave, how did we find out about that cemetery? I think we were just... Uh, I think because we drove up. Yeah. I, somebody told us about this Confederate yeah. cemetery that was around there. I'm like, okay, well, we'll go check it out. Oh, we drove up there that night mm -hmm. because somebody told us about it. It was too dark because there was no lights. We drove up that following morning before we left Fredericksburg and Man, was it creepy. Yeah, we went, we went, and it, it was, was still creepy, foggy. foggy. It was super misty, cool. And it was a Confederate cemetery that was down there. It was really, really, really cool. All right, just out and about. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, so there were um, a couple of comments. Uh, 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 we should have got your phone. Yeah. Uh, it was with Riverview the Cemetery. Yeah. There, oh, I know. There was somebody who uh, wanted to know where we were. Right now, we're actually sitting in right our now, driveway. We're sitting, yeah, we're sitting in our driveway <laughs> at the moment. So we're in, a, in what he calls Harvey, which is our, our RV that we're working on getting ready to go out and hopefully say, take to say, some... Go camping. Some say paranormal it. locations oh. with us. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, so that's where we are right now. Um, I don't remember... What else there was? Your finger was on the camera when you tried to scroll, so I'm not going to have you do that again. Oh, here, I'll just put it down here. That's the name of that seminary. Hack, uh, Hackney, Hackney River, River View, View Cemetery. That's the name of that cemetery. Okay. Uh, what else did we miss? Oh, Wilt's World Media was here. Was stopping Wilt's in. Wilt's World Media. Hello, hello, hello. Sheena. Sheena, Sheena Marie Matrillo. Hello. Yeah, a lot of new people. I've heard your names yeah. before. Oh, bottle it's caps. bottle caps. Bottle caps is here. Boris says hi. <laughs> he is saying hi. I know. 
put his hand up. <laughs> I made him do that. <laughs> so. so yeah, we're just popping on live, showing our tenement on wheels and some of the equipment that we use in our investigations in case somebody said, what's a K2? What is a spirit box? What's an obelisk? Yeah. And say, hey, tonight, 7 o'clock, Boucher Studios. Definitely want to be there. That's the place to be. Yes. I'm sure bottle caps will be there. Bottle caps will be there for sure. Check out my late 1800s grave video, Irish whiskey. Oh, pfft. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All you mentioned, 1800s and graveyard, I'm I there. I think I watched one of your uh, <laughs> cemetery videos. But, uh, yeah, I, I, and like Mary just said a little bit ago, somebody's got to give Stink Eye a hard time. <laughs> she's had a hard enough time. Yeah, leave, she's leave had a pretty rough, alone. But, yeah, that's okay. It keeps the blood flowing. Um, <laughs> I have to share, uh, who, who was that, that just said about the cemetery? I'm bad at this. Oh, guys. Irish I'm Whiskey sorry. 77. Irish Whiskey. I have to share that one with Marianne. Marianne's starting to help me to go around and make rounds now to your guys' channels and watch videos and stuff like that. Especially when I go back to work, I'm going to have less time that I can spend on doing that kind of stuff. Especially so, at the very beginning. Um, there you go. He's going to pick on you. <laughs> Keeps the blood flowing. Sure, why not? She can handle it. Bottle cap, she handles 180-some students during the day. I'm sure she could. Half saying, of them are teenage boys. Yeah, she's saying bring it on. <laughs> Um, so but, I, uh, I can hold my own. Yeah. If you guys are new to, uh, to our channel, please leave a comment down below so we can go check them out and we're going to start sharing those duties. And... Yeah. Especially when, <clears throat> right when you go back to work, you get really super, super busy and yeah, you're working for, like 80 hours a, a week. And... Yeah. For about a month that it's going to be, I put two months into one. But yeah. And I already I... got emails. I checked this morning. I got four things to do already for next monday when i go back so <laughs> of course they did bottle caps <laughs> you, you were probably picking on your teachers so i uh i do uh high school biology and forensic science so i'm uh 10th grade and up yes pspr PSPR. did upload a new uh video today if you haven't seen it yet go check that out uh, PSPR, I do need to tell you that when your videos start out with uh, your wife on them, they are a lot better. <laughs> because, you know, even with Mary Ann starting out, it's uh, it's clickbait. They want to see them, not us. <laughs> You're sick. Ah, it's the truth. Boys. It's the truth. Okay. Whatever. So, Chef Disaster Plates Prevention. Uh, See? Yes, I know. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know about you guys. I think they come to see you, too. You guys you guys have some pretty good s stories and things for them, so. <laughs> no, it's them. Mike Ferrer says the same thing. When his wife's on, he gets better ratings. They actually like it better when Boris is there than me. They like Boris no. better. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What's your question? I don't know if he's asking know. us or something. I don't know. I missed that. <clears throat> Paper I watched. I think that should have been PSPR I watched. It. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Sometimes the uh, autocorrect. Yep. Autocorrect loves... Loves fixing what they think we're saying. I hate going on live streams with my phone because you can't do that at sign and bring up the names and then click on them. So when you try to talk to somebody, it's it's just like it doesn't make sense. And then I know, and then and you they say, type oh, well, out the do whole it. Name and, yeah. yeah, they say, well, if you're on your phone, do it with the hashtag instead. See, bottle caps even agrees. TNA works on his channel. See, I'm not lying to you. That's just how it is. You want to sell a, a sports car? You put a sexy model on the on the advertisement. It will sell. Why would it work different on YouTube? <laughs> well, I don't really consider myself to be all that much of clickbait, but whatever. Uh, I don't know what I was talking about I before, but oh well. It's 
So we got about 10 more minutes. Richard! Richard's here. How are you doing? <clears throat> put a sexy model there on you go pronouns. get it get a barbie doll with a little saddle and put it on your hounds you'll watch your view skyrocket <laughs> <laughs> so fatma's kitchen i have a I, i've done two cooking segments on our channel here i did uh some paranormal cooking, I guess. It was not really paranormal, but they were recipes that were related to paranormal locations. I don't know if I mentioned it in the in the live streams when we came back from Gettysburg. There were two things that I really wanted. I wanted to get Jenny Wade's bread so that I could do Jenny Wade's bread when we did the Jenny Wade house. And I went there and they're like, yeah, no, we don't have any of the Wade family recipes. I'm like, oh. And then uh, I wanted to get some at um, uh, the uh, Rupp House. No, the Farnsworth House. Oh, Farnsworth. House. And last time I was there, they had a cookbook. And then when we went in the in the room, there was an advertisement for the cookbook. And I went to the uh, office, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we're out of the cookbook. We we thought it would come in last month." And I'm like, "I I need the cookbook." So I'm on their waiting list no, for their look, current right cookbook. There on your top. Where, where? Right where it says live. See, watch. I put my friend over the um, So anyhow, I uh, I'm on their waiting list for that. I did find a couple of their their recipes online. We'll see if I get the cookbook first. But we need to make one more uh, one more of your cooking segments things. before I go back to work. Well, before before I go back to work. And then we can create, uh, or I can create a playlist. Oh, you need to have three. Yeah, you know, it's better with three than just two. I think we got two out there. We right? have two, yeah. Yeah, the Sealy smear case, the cottage cheese, which I thought was a cool. I I really thought that was cool. I never knew that's how you make cottage cheese. You just boil milk and throw vinegar in it, and boom, there's cottage cheese. It was bland. It was yeah. very bland. Though. No flavor. Um, <laughs> And then those brownies. The brownies oh, are awesome. Brownies. I want you to do the bread because I like homemade bread. I love homemade bread. You can make too. it like that Farnsworth bread. That was awesome. Yeah. A Farnsworth house actually has a bread that they call Jenny Wade bread that they'll serve at, at your dinners. I think I posted some pictures on our Instagram. Yeah. What we it's not Jenny Wade's bread's recipe, but um, yeah, they call it that. Good. So. So you're going to do, you got that coming out sometime, the bread. What else are you going to do? Um, they had goober soup oh, yeah. and goober pumpkin. Goober soup. Uh, and pumpkin fritters. I'll probably do the pumpkin fritters around Halloween. Because that would be, you know, everything's pumpkin at Halloween. I had some of them at Farnsworth House while we were there. They were pretty decent. Um, I think they... I think those apple a little things bit, we had those, at that other place. Yes, at O'Rourke's. If you ever go yeah, to Gettysburg. Yeah, goober soup. Goober pea soup is what it is, isn't it? It's yeah, like but it's like. soup with drops of peanut butter. Mm, I don't think there's any actual pea in there. I think that the peas in the goober pea soup are the peanuts. But uh, I have to get that recipe all taken. Get that. But, I don't um, be tasting if it's peas. I don't think it is, though. Lunch is over, bottle caps. We'll all see right, you buddy. later tonight. We'll see you later. All right. Thanks for, Thanks stopping, for stopping by and saying hi to me. Oh. <laughs> I tried. I she's, can't do it, though. <laughs> she's flirting back, bottle cap. Stop it. I was trying to give him the stink eye. Like, oh, the stink eye. <laughs> but I, I don't do it very well. I, sorry. I guess I smile too much to it. I don't know. Anyways, um, so those are, are trying to come up. And i got to come up with something else to do, too. Um, but... I think that's when I'm going to do that one. The pumpkin fritters one will be out around Halloween because everything's pumpkin then. All right, guys. So we got about five minutes left. Do you have any questions for us? We covered a lot in this one, man. Yeah. Clint Moore, good to see you too. Thanks for stopping it's good in. It's good to be here yes. to see you guys. Yes. 
I'll go over the four things that we talk about. First of all, we want to thank everybody who come to our support and get our live streams back Kevin again. Reynolds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Second thing is we come on live and introduce everybody to Harvey. The RV. That's the title of this is <laughs> Welcome to saying. Harvey or Meet Harvey or something like that. And that'll be the thumbnail. Third thing that we were talking about was the uh, equipment that we use. We kind of explain what it, what those things are. So if you did catch that uh, investigation thing that we did, and in the future, as we're putting videos out, we're going to talk about, oh, we got this on the K2, we got this on the spirit mm -hmm. box, that kind of stuff. So you know what we're talking about. And then the fourth thing, tonight, let's go show some more love and get those channels recognized on Pusha Studios at 7 o'clock. Yep. Yes, it did work, Clint. It was awesome. Yes. Oh, are you st are you talking about the the what I gave you to do? It worked. Is that what you're talking about? And I'll tell you okay. offline. Okay. Okay. If that worked, boom. Skin a coon instead of a rattlesnake. Yes, it worked. You're skinning Good job, buddy. Anytime you have any questions or whatever, do the same thing. Just get a hold of us, and we'll try to help you. So, awesome stuff. What else you got? I don't know. We got three minutes. I don't have a coon timber. How are we today? We are doing great. So, Clint, where are you at? You have a lot of rattlesnakes. Are you uh, out west? No, I think he's down um, in Tennessee. Tennessee? Kentucky, Tennessee, right? Fortunately, we don't have... Uh, yeah, he East says Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, we don't have rattlesnakes here. But I do have some rattlesnake rattler uh, rattles in my classroom. Of course you do. I do. I have all kinds of weird stuff in my we'll classroom. We'll have to do a video from her classroom one day. We yeah. won't go live, but we'll record it. See yeah. some of the stuff she has in her Yeah, classroom. I have some. I have some real human skeletons in there, too. Yeah, she does. I do. They were donated to our school. Where I am, Ken Kelly. Oh, you want to, well, you could do that when we get off here. Yeah. Big fat rattlers down there. Big old fat rattlers. Kelly's staying inside today because it's 40 Celsius where she's at. That's outrageous. Yeah, I think we're going to kind of mellow out today, too. We're kind of hurting a little bit. We will. Uh... We were cutting some trees yesterday. Our minds are much younger than our bodies. And uh, we were cutting up trees and, and doing stuff and making making a, we're getting a driveway put in so that we could park Harvey over there. And I was chucking logs and then her parents were getting their deck fixed and we were carrying stuff out to the dumpster and kind of overdid it a little bit. Yeah. And I, I it's hard for me to even pick up my arms. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to kind of relax today and... Uh, Kind yeah. of mend yeah. a little we were, bit. We were going to go back and work some more today, but. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. We got to carb up tonight. Yeah. Clint's been mowing all day today. Nice. Yeah, I've, I, I went back uh, when I was working on carrying some wood around for my dad's house. I went, I went to see him and I'm like, do you still have all your fingers? I was sitting <laughs> on a log like, I think I'm going to pass out. It was like. And I was only out there for about an hour, and it was hot. And yeah, cutting because I was cutting, cutting the tree things. I was cutting were... with the I, I got an electric chainsaw because I knew it would be cut, put it down, move the stuff. You know, you have a gas one, you gotta start it, stop it, start it. And I'm like, I'll just get an electric one. We do have a gas one too, but um, so I could just cut and then move it, and that's all I was doing. Wow. And then some of those logs I'm straining and pulling and yeah. yeah. We got to go back. We got a little bit. I got about halfway through. So I think with you helping me, we'll get through it. But uh, I love yard work. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be nice though once it's done because we could just go over there and camp out on our property. That would be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. Too bad we don't have uh, amenities over there yet, but we're working on it. Someday. Yeah. 
All right. Well. Seven seconds. Hey, guys. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for the love. Appreciate it so much. Yes. Thank you for all really your do. support. <laughs> like your Ohio hat. We're from Ohio. That's all right. So. We're from Ohio. Yeah, now. Got the Cleveland shirt <laughs> and Ohio hat. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get out of here. It's a little warm in here. We're going to go probably veg out on the couch and watch some of your guys' videos and do that kind of stuff. Again, later tonight, 7 p.m., Poosh is going live. We'll be on we'll there. Be we'll there. be in the chat. So uh, come and join in. Let's have some fun. And, hey, until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. <laughs>